Hello everybody, this is Ghost Shadow. Uh, this is about my third take. Every time I get about halfway through, uh, it cuts off. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this. Um, today's review is over my Saber Trio, Ready to Ship, Arc Light, Dark Edition, Weathered, Red AV Switch, Pico Crumble 2.5, Flash on Clash, Changing colors, brass blade plug, that's about it. Came with a 32 inch blade, charger, charger plugs, Allen wrench, and a belt clip, which I'll put the belt clip somewhere. I'll find that later. Yeah. Um, Think about uh, Saber Trio. Uh, I was trying to get onto the website, been trying, 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 trying like crazy, crazy, crazy. Get on their website. It's either uh, error, 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 kick me off, error, 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 kick off some more. Uh, try to get in there, ask me if I'm a bot, kicks me off, think I'm attacking them. Um, finally get on there. Then when I get pictures, when I go to the uh, find the lightsabers, it kicks me off. And I finally get on there, and everything's good. I can do stuff, and I'm trying to find the ready to ship uh, sabers. And then I can't find them, so I see at the top that there's an area that says uh, ready to ship uh, sabers at the top. So I go up there, find out it's on the Etsy store. So I get off there, go to the Etsy store, even though I've been really trying to get onto their website. Go to the Etsy store, which I understand uh, all them, all the problems they have, and don't blame, don't blame but one bit, and I'm not upset about anything because got to the Etsy store. They had two sabers left, two of these, and I managed to get one. And I'm excited. Um, but then at the time I tried to go back, th thought about going ahead and ordering one. I went back, and they're all sold out. And I can understand because they don't want to take on more than they can handle and push things back further. For, so I can understand that. And that's a good thing for them. Double thumbs up for that. Love Saber Trio. And I was looking for Arc Light or a uh, Skylar, and lucky, luckily I got the Arc Light, and I'm happy with it. And since I got the Arc Light, uh, went ahead and got my mirror back out, and I decided, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and change it to the uh, or random sign out. Let's go ahead and change it to the green color. That's the start for the light side sound font. And I got it green. And here's the light side, because this is the dark side sound font, so you'll get to hear the difference between that. All right, I right, did a view and you don't need to do any more. And before I get that, because when I ordered this, I found a company that did um, Doctor Who sonic screwdrivers, and I was looking for the 11th Doctor screwdriver. They had one, and right when I went to go buy it, someone beat me to it. So I found a custom sonic screwdriver, and I really liked the way it looked. Opened up the box, pulled it out, and it was kind of shaky when I went to go... Uh, swing it and push the button... It fell apart because it's basically these two parts are held together with hot glue so I'm gonna have to try to sand this down it still works let me get my hand out of the way still works but that's held together with uh, hot glue so I'm going to either try to stand or pull I don't want to pull it out because it goes down in there so I'm going to try to sand this down or pull up as much as I can to get this flush so I can get the wires back down in there and set it on there because if I get it sit down on here oops if I get it sit back down and glue it together the way it should be then it's a pretty cool looking it's a really cool looking sonic screwdriver. This is like from a radio bulb. 
And it's got just a simple sound, noise and sound. And I like the look of it. But to be honest, it wasn't worth what I paid for. But maybe once I get it fixed, it'll be really kicking. Because it should be really kicking. If he could, that they could just do something better about this, and this is really loose on here, too. And this came off. It I thought it screwed on, so I was trying to screw it back on, but it just pops on. And it's got a cool looking timepiece type thing with gears. So it's a really cool. It would be a really cool looking. Sonic screwdriver if it was made a little bit better just something simple here to screw on or use these screws to screw this together or have it where this piece screws into that but enough about that even though it's a cool piece I still gotta do a lot of work to make it look decent and I can't remember I went ahead and rewrap this back up because I wanted this to be nice and like a surprise. Whee! <clears throat> and I don't remember what color this was on because I was demonstrating the uh, color change when my camera kicked off. There's the back. There's the pommel. pommel. Cover tech wheel. And on this one, I like how they have the knurling here and the knurling on the handle it's still black in here and in the grooves and here you got the red brilliant red AV switch and it started off with the color of red and I was going through the color changing when my camera went off so I don't know what color it's on and this is for the LED retention screw here's your choke point you have your choke and then also a little indent. There's a little groove or a little groove there. A little groove here, bigger groove, smaller little grooves. And there's for the LED, not the LED, the uh, blade retention. And here's the blade plug. Really nice looking blade plug. And cover tech wheel. I know like a lot of people this is a flashlight looking or flashlight-esque type lightsaber. To me, it's just a nice, simple design. It's just, it just feels good in the hand. You can hold it up here, and with the way the AV switches here, when you're holding it, you're not pushing it in. You can hold it here, do your spins, or you can hold it here, and you're not going. If your hands get sweaty, you're not going to. It's not going to slip out because it's got the knurling. Um, and with a nice choke, you can hold it up here too. It's just, it's just easy for two hands or as one. And it's just it's a nice simple one. And I don't know if this is just me. Maybe I'm the only one that sees this. But to me, I can see this as a corn horn uh, lightsaber. Just because to me, it looks like it could be the handle for a speed bike. You got your neural grip as the handle handlebar. This could be like the handlebar sideways. This could be in like around here and here. This could be like where you had the switches for brakes or other things. And the other button to, for the speeding up. Or you could like rev it. This to me just looks like it could be. Maybe it's just me again. But take a gander at it. Maybe it could be. But I will go ahead and... Uh, Here's the blade. It's a 32 inch blade. I like their blades. But I'll be using my short blade. And it comes with this charger and different charging things for like indentured countries. Um, Allen keys. Different sizes. One for your uh, cover tech wheel. One for the uh, blade retention screw. A little extra screws. I got your belt clip one. It's somewhere somewhere I have it laying somewhere I don't really need it right now so I'll take this out to put the plate in and we'll go through the color changes yeah 
So we're gonna hold this in. There we go. Oh, so it's on blue. I guess it was on blue when that happened. This is like the Arctic blue. Here is a light green. You have like two different green, two different greens. There's the other darker green. It's, it is about that color. This is a yellow, maybe kind of acid yellow, limey yellow. And there's a orange. Maybe it's all like red orange. There's a brighter orange. There's like a red, red orange, blood orange, red orange or blood orange. We'll say blood orange. It looks, yeah, about that. It looks like that color. And there's your red. You can tell it's a deep red. It is that color. It's a nice red. Oh, that was red and this is a deep red. So yes, it looks about that color in real life. So there's two different reds. It started off, I think, in this color. Yeah, it started off in this color. And there's your purple. Is that pink? That might have been pink. This is purple. Maybe this is pink. Or a violet. Or lilac. Okay, you're your deep blue. Medium blue. This is the ice blue. I think I'll probably leave it on this one. I kind of like it with this. Or the deep red. If I was going to change it to another one, it'd either be this, the green, probably the deep red. Because the deep red would look good, especially with the uh, AV switch. But I think the light blue or arctic blue looks really good with it. There we go. It's set in there, so... When you shoot, you should be able to hear the boot. That's the dark side boot. Yeah. There's a pink, pink to white uh, flash and flash. And you can tell with this one after like I showed you the mirror one, uh, it's a light side font. This one is a deeper hum. Deeper onto it. I don't know what it is. I love the Pico Crumble. Uh, I love the sound box. You only get one. If you either get the dark side or light side, you can't go wrong with either one. They're both incredibly nice. It's flash on flash. It's kind of like a nano biscotti, but you only get one sound font. But you get color changing, which is really nice. And I love the hum on this. And I love the sound of the light side one. But even though it's a dark side sound font, you can still be have light blue and be a Jedi. Even though you have a really cool looking dark side saber. Even if you had the dark red in there, blade, oh, it'd be really nice too. But this is my arc light. This is my arc light. Uh, dark edition, weathered, ready to ship, uh, red AV switch, brass blade plug, Pico Crumble 2.5, flash on flash, color change, arc light, simple but wonderful and great design. But I hope y'all enjoyed watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.